Hello everyone, this is your subject, Practical Research 1. Ituturo ko kung paano gumawa ng research title. We all know that the most important requirement in your subject, Practical Research 1 and Practical Research 2 is your research paper. So in order for you to compose or to make your research paper, you need to have a research title. Han ka na ba kung paano mo mabubuo ang iyong research title? Sa video na ito, Magbibigay ako ng mga tips, ng mga key points to remember kung paano gagawin ang iyong research title. The first thing you need to do is to read. Magbasa. Anong mga babasahin mo? Magbasa ka ng mga studies sa line or sa topic na gusto mong i-research. Halimbawa, gusto mong mag-research about advertisement. Magbasa ka ng mga researches ng about advertisement. Kung gusto mo namang mag-research about teenage pregnancy, magbasa ka about teenage pregnancy. Kung gusto mo namang magbasa about Hotel and Restaurants, Operations, magbasa ka about Hotel and Restaurants, Operations. So, the first thing you need to do in order to have the, or to conceptualize a research title is to read. Okay? Magbasa ka. The next one is, habang nagbabasa ka, marirealize mo at makakahanap ka ng mga research gap. Ang mga research gap ay ang mga kulang doon sa mga research na nababasa mo. So, yun ang pwede mong gawing research topic. Yung mga research gap. In order to fully understand the research gap, I'm going to make another video about it. Okay? You can check the playlist, SHS Practical Research 1, for that video. Next one, assess your previous learnings. Kalain ng inyong specialized subjects, right? Next one, your research topic is always connected to your specialization. So this is always applied to all professions or fields. Palaging connected dapat ng specialization mo ang topic mo. Why? Because mas gamay mo yung research kapag specialize mo yun or specialization mo yun, di ba? Kapag APM student ka, accountancy and business management student, ang iyong research topic dapat ay connected sa APM and Connected din dapat sa STEM ang iyong research topic. Kapag Humes ka naman, ganun din. Connected sa Humes ang iyong mga topic. Paano mo malalaman kung connected ang mga ito? Nababanggit ang mga specialized topics and... Nababanggit ang mga specialized concepts sa inyong mga specialized subjects. That's why you need to review, assess your previous learning from your specialized subjects. Katulad na lamang ng mga examples na ito, di ba? Kung ang isang veterinarian ay gagawa ng isang research, dapat Connected yun sa veterinary, sa kanyang specialization. Ganon din sa doctor, ganon din sa mga engineer, and ganon din sa mga accountancy and business courses. Para, as I have said a while ago, para gamay mo na yung topic. Alam mo na ang gagawin doon. Kasi nga pinag-aralan mo yun, di ba? 
The next thing that we're going to discuss is the effective titles in academic research papers. So from those key points na sinabi ko, pupunta na tayo sa technical. Okay? Ano ba dapat ang nilalaman ng iyong title? So I have mentioned here specific. Dapat specific ang iyong title. Specific in a mean na dapat ang title mo ay may sumasagot sa tanong na what, who, where, and when. The when is sometimes nilalagay, sometimes hindi. But it didn't. But generally, your research title should contain the what, who, and where. What are the variables? Yung mga variables na connected. Who? Respondents, where, local, and when, time frame. Variables, di ba? Ang variables is yung mga topic, concepts na itatakal mo sa research paper mo. Divided ang variable into two, dependent and independent. Respondents, response, respondents answer the question who. Dapat sa title mo, makikita doon kung sino ang mga respondents mo. Halimbawa, the academic performance of grade 12. Grade 12 are your respondents. Respondents also appears in your significance of the study. Kasi sila ang isa sa mga beneficiary ng iyong research. Okay? Lokal. Taga saan yung grade 12? That's why you need to specify the lokal. From where? Taga saan? And lastly, sometimes they put it, sometimes no. Time frame. Anong year? Anong time frame? Anong span of time? School year? Academic year? Summer? Pandemic? Ganon. Let's have a simple examples. For humanities and social sciences strands, you can social sciences strand, pwede kayong mag-research sa mga topics related to but not limited to society, education, and other social science related topics. So the topic is academic performance. Academic performance is also classified as a variable. So the sample title that you can do is academic performance of Yum student in example high school. So let us assess this sample title number one. Academic performance is a variable. Hume's students respondents. Example high school, for example, this is city high school. So this answers the question, where? Academic performance, what? Hume's student, who? And city high school, where? So as you can see, in the, in the sample title number one, it answers the questions, who, what, and where? So yeah, that's how you make a research title. Yung research title mo dapat ay sumasagot ng mga basic questions about sa research mo. Para kapag binasa iyon ng isang panelist, magkaka-idea na siya kung ano ba ang ini-study mo or ng isang simple reader. Diba? Next one, the topic. Effects of television dramas to young viewers. Sample title, Prima Donuts, television drama. Its effects to the attitude of young viewers of Barangay Luna, for example. So let's assess the title number two. Prima Donuts television drama. This is the variable one. Its effects to the attitude. 
that is also a variable. So this is a variable too. Young viewers, respondents of barangay is your local. So prima donnas is a or is an independent variable kasi hindi siya nababago. And the effects to the attitude is the dependent variable. Kasi ito yung mababago, depende sa magiging sagot ng inyong mga respondents. So in the sample 2, we have independent variable. Dependent variable, respondents, and lokal. So it answers what, who, and where. Are you with me? Yes. Let's see or let's assess example number three. Ay pareho lang siya. Let's go to the example of ABM or Accountancy Business Management Strand. Topic or example number two. Your topic is online seller. Title. Strategic management of online sellers around example city. Let's assess this title or let's evaluate. Strategic management is a variable. What? Of sino? Online sellers. Who? Around example city. Where? So this is specific title answers what? Who and where? Let's go to the third example. The topic is all about superstitious beliefs of entrepreneurs. The example or the sample title is superstitious beliefs of entrepreneurs around example city. So the variable is superstitious belief of who? Entrepreneurs. Where? Example city. So this title answers what, who, and where. Are you with me? So let's proceed to general academic strand. So if your topic is academic grades, this is an example, or this is the example title. The effects of online schooling to the academic grades of general academic students or the ex this is the sample title the effect of online schooling to the academic grades of general academic strand students of example school so we have here dependent variable and independent variable so the independent is the online schooling the dependent is academic grade. Why do we classify online schooling as independent variable? Kasi hindi siya nababago. Online schooling pa rin siya. Ano ang epekto ng online schooling sa academic grade? Ang academic grade ay nagbabago depende sa performance ng respondents. That's why the academic grades here are dependent variable. So in this sample title, we have independent variable and dependent variable of grade of general academic strand students who the respondents of this example school. So this title contains what, who, and where. Let's proceed to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand. So, so let's proceed to this topic, data connectivity. So this is the sample title from that topic. Status of data connectivity of STEM students of example school. So this title answers what, who, and where. What is the status of data connectivity? Who? STEM students and where from that specific school. So now, you already have an idea how to formulate, conceptualize, and make a research title. 
technically and as simple as answering what, who, where, and sometimes when will make your research title more approvable to your advisor or to a panelist. Pero bakit reject ang title mo? If you already conceptualized your research title, bakit nare-reject pa rin? Let's see. Your title is not clearly stated. So remember that simplicity is beauty. The simpler your title, the easier, the easier they will understand your research, di ba? You don't need to exaggerate how you conceptualize your research title. The simpler, the better. Because simpler means mas madaling intindihin, di ba? Another, your title is not connected to your specialization. For example, I am an ABM student, but I want to study or to make a research about medicine. Is that possible? It can be. But if it in it is in term it is possible, but not really necessary. You should always make a research about your specialization. Okay? Para hindi ma reject ang paper nyo. That's why you need to listen to your teachers in your specialized subjects, you need to study in your specialized subjects. You need to review, understand your specialization. Mas malawak ang inyong pangunawa sa iyong napiling strand or specialization. Bakit nare-reject? Una, your title is not clearly stated. Pangalawa, yung title mo hindi connected sa specialization mo. What is the third reason? Your title is too broad. So if your title is too broad, technically your advisor or your panelist will reject your research title. Why? Because one SEM or two SEM lang kinagawa ang isang research paper kapag senior high school, di ba? But you specified in your research title that you want to ask Northern Luzon. Northern Luzon ang gusto mong respondents. So, ang daming regions, ang daming provinces, it makes your title too broad, di ba? And many other factors. Why your title is too broad? Baka yung variable mo too broad, ganon, or any other results. That's it. Now, you have an idea how to make your research title. Ngayon, may idea ko na kung paano gumawa ng research title. Para mas magka-idea ka pa, i-visit mo ang playlist ko, SHS Practical Research 1 for discussions. For mentoring, message me. You can email me at jensimon0821 at gmail.com. You can also message me at my Facebook page, Learn with Jen. So, salamat sa inyong panonood. See you next time. Thank you.